slow down, take a sip, and engage all your senses to become one with the drink in hand. Let's try that. It smells pretty good, that's for sure. Mm. Well, hey, y'all. Welcome to another episode of Chewing the Brew. So, let's see. Everybody's brewing. Flow State Hazy IPA. I've drunk a few Everybody's Brews. They had a, a porter that was pretty good. They had a local lager that was, it was decent. I think I've come to appreciate it more after I recorded a video for it. Um, but it's still, it's, it's a middle of the road, just not inoffensive. Inoffensive is the wrong word. It's, it's a good beer. It's just really simple. And sometimes simple is good. Anyways, this is neither of those. This is a hazy IPA. It's got 30 IBU. It's an ABV of 6. So it's pretty right on for what American beer drinkers are wanting when they want their hazy IPAs. And as I poured it, there was some peach notes. Peach and pineapple. That just kind of sprang up very nicely. Yeah, diving in there, there's... There's a, so there's the peach and pineapple, and then there's I'm almost a boozy, like I'm smelling, like a pretty heavy alcohol, which I'm guessing is something else, because 6.6% shouldn't really present like that. I wonder if it's the, um, some of the hops that are involved here have a, a, a sharp herbal note that my nose was picking up as, as that. Um, it has Azaka, Eldorado, Simcoe, and Talus hops, for what it's worth. I've heard I've heard of the Talus, the Simcoe, and the Eldorados before. I have not, to my knowledge, had an Azaka, or had a beer that pointed out that it had Azaka uh, hops. It smells good, and I think because of it, because it has that kind of more sharp herbal note, uh, kind of hanging off to the side, that makes me think it's going to be slightly more interesting than simply a really, really smooth, sweet, kind of creamy hazy. So let's see if the flavor stands up, or how the flavor stands up. Hmm. Okay. Um, the flavor is more of the pineapple than the peach, though there is a halfway between, halfway between peach and orange Julius, which if you don't know what orange Julius is, that is a smoothie made out of vanilla ice cream, banana, and oranges that, uh, there was a whole franchise store you'd find in malls. I suppose you can probably still find it some places. Um, but I remember loving the orange Julius when I was growing up. Uh, so it has that kind of citrus and peach creaminess back there that reminds me of the orange julius it has the the pineapple and then yeah there is a kind of a an herbal note to the hops that's it's kind of there and not there like if you're looking for it you'll find it but if you're not looking for it you'll just think oh this is really creamy pineapple peach orangey uh kind of vanilla ice cream kind of flavor there's a little bit of a a separation between the um, the the sweet tropical fruit notes and the and then the the finish the uh, the herbal kind of hoppiness that that's interesting. It kind of spreads the beer out a little bit. I think I enjoy this sipped better than larger mouthfuls. Um, I think the aspiration, bringing the air in with it, helps the fruity notes kind of stand up more and hang out longer and stronger. Yeah, it's a tasty beer. Um, the, the bitterness r builds for a long time, which is something I learned recently. I was reading a book called uh, Tasting Beer, and in it he talked about how bitterness because of how our mouths perceive bitterness, it really, it takes a long time for bitterness to show up and then it stays for a long time and continues to build. So that a uh, beer with a super huge high IBU um, may not necessarily taste that much more bitter at the first sip. 
but if you let it sit in your mouth for longer or as you um, as the the beer stays in your mouth your that bitterness is going to build more over an extended period of time whereas a lower IBU it'll it'll also start slow but it'll build to a lesser level which is an interesting thing that holding the beer in your mouth longer brings more bitterness which which means that it's not like it's my my bitterness is right here it's my bitterness is here <laughs> right and if it's a high high IBU beer it's my bitterness is there <laughs> and you just you kind of have to wait for the bitterness to build which is is interesting i think that that speaks to how or that helps explain to me how a lot of the times the hops come in later it's very rare the beer that it's able to get the hop bitterness to show right at the outset it's almost always something that comes in a few seconds later and then hangs on for a long finish yeah it's a good beer i enjoy it it's tasty um it's simple it's the the creaminess is is really kind of light i feel like possibly having a little more creamy body in the middle might help tie the beer together and make it more of a consistent experience throughout but it's not offensive it's tasty it's enjoyable it has the the hazy the hazy ipa high notes the things you want and it has a decent amount of bitterness for a hazy ipa which is which is kind of nice if you're more if you're less of a hazy ipa person you're wanting something that's a little more bitter and you can't find one well this would be one you could find anyways this is me matthew i have been drinking and enjoying flow state hazy ipa by everybody's brewing i'll catch y'all on the flip side